Welcome to Pup Cup 2019, England versus the USA. Lots of good girls on the field today. We can already, oh! It's already Oh, off. USA already has the ball and it's, Is I it don't... in? It's in? It's in there! That's a goal! Unbelievable play by number seven. America's off to it, goalie back, behind the goal. Going back for more. Wow, that was impressive offense. Number five, <laughs> amazing goalkeeping. Oh, a breakaway, a breakaway. Unfortunately, the ball is not in play. Deciding America is thinking about going after it. The regulation chew toy uh, is now being fought over. You'll and notice some quarrels on the field. Uh, our ref is currently stuck in traffic, but the show must go on. That's a shame. That should have been a red card. <clears throat> Number three really itching over there, you might have noticed. Uh, she was injured in a previous match, uh, a small flea bite. Seeing some massive defense from number two. Uh, a very naughty defense, I would say. Two is going up and taking off the jersey off his opponent. Meanwhile, we've got some fighting for that chew toy, yet no attraction towards the ball or the main objective of the game. Now, number seven, a huge fan favorite here, obviously, Cristiano Rafaldo, uh, as the fans lovingly call her. It looks like our wiener dog is taking it to the sides. I hope she knows she's in play still. Slowly coming into actually taking action on the field. Looks like number three is demanding a free kick. Unfortunately, there's still no ref. No ref, no penalty kicks, but plenty of penalties still taking place. That's got to be offside. Again, the British are hanging out behind the goal. They're going to want to get in front of that if they want proper defense. Mm. And as everyone knows, peeing on the field uh, is immediate disqualification. Does still mark territory, though. Now, you do notice the Chew Toy is getting a lot of action in this match. The Chew Toy, of course, was introduced into the sport in 1985. A very disruptive introduction for the purists of the sport, but nevertheless, there is more to pay attention to and enjoy in the sport. Absolutely, absolutely right. We're now having a chomping competition on the goal itself. I guess it does go to prove the strategy of you can't score a goal if the goal has been completely consumed. Uh, again, the ball is not getting a lot of action today. Um, oh, and it's back in play. The fans have decided to take action and encourage them to play. Sometimes that's what you have to do here at Pup Cup. You never know what you're going to see next. Seven is really going ham on that chew toy. Oh, wow. That would have been a massive goal by number oh, two. Break on a breakaway again. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable goalkeeping. It's, it's almost By in. number 10. And wouldn't you know it, 10 is actually holding it down while taking down the goal. Very impressive. I've never seen anything like it. Meanwhile, the other players still not exactly aware of where the ball is at and how close they are to scoring right now. USA might need to wake up for this. That's got to be a red card. But again, no and it ref. Looks like number four on the English team is trying to flee the field. Looking around curiously now. Asking to be taken out. For anyone tuning in, a uh, point of order. It is a regulation of the Pup Cup that if anyone is given a brown card, they will be immediately ejected from this match. Seven has relinquished control of the chew toy. One now having control of it ball in middle field they can do whatever they want with it and currently they're deciding to roughhouse behind the english goal no question that was an american decision again no ref whatsoever it appears the teams are turning on each other and number seven has clearly had enough this captain is calling for the ref to show up, literally, uh, 
but we're getting word that the ref is still in traffic. This is LA after all. Oh, and another we massive some, breakaway. It appears we have internal fighting on the USA team. They have had disagreements in tryouts over which plays to execute at this very important game. This is what happens when, you know, too many treats make their way into the locker rooms, really. There has been some reinforcement of negative behavior in their training. This may cost them. At number seven again, just had enough of it, really giving it to the ref, who is once again absolutely absent from this game. It looks like seven's calling an audible, just trash talking everyone in the crowd, not having oh, any bit of it. Oh. And you can hear oh. this crowd is giving it right back. Number four is really the rookie here, but I would say rookie oh. of the year. Number five, also getting in on the action. And just a reminder, the current score is USA 1, England 0. Can you, I can't, what is number seven saying? Sorry, we're trying to get, oh, that is unbelievably rude. We will not be airing the audio from the players during this game. Mm. It seems the USA team is still having some infighting and looks like they're trying to relinquish the other player of their jersey. Again, the ball not being dealt with whatsoever. Getting no action. Fans are still having a back and forth with player seven on the US 18. You really, really taunting the for. crowd, yeah. It looks like that's gonna be a yellow card again. Oh, that, again, wow. so many red cards. Every, like, honestly, I don't think anyone else should be playing. Frankly. Britain has now expanded their strategy onto the American goal. By chewing it down, they are hoping to take apart the USA's morale. Wait a minute, that ball's getting a little close to England's goal. Amazing USA... footwork by Wait number nine. USA's getting close to it. They may go for it. They're thinking about it. And oh. that is a oh, calculated and where is that the is a goalkeeper? Goal. Number seven, clearly offside. The fans are calling it. No. But where is the ref? Come on. We don't need a ref. There's no ref. Unbelievable. Number six, clearly standing in stunned silence over that. It does appear as though seven was offside. Oh, that was a massive offside. And once again, no call from the ref. You know, it, it just goes to show how hard it is to have a game be fair when there is no ref at all. It looks like five's got ten up against the rails in that goal. Ten, no defenses, not putting up any fight, not even so much as a right hook. And not only that, we're seeing number four and number eight really go to town on this actual pitch. This is England's back. only chance right here, and they are just too occupied. The situation has devolved. The players are literally chewing up the field at this point. I have to say, Kevin, it is an excellent strategy. There can be no offside if there is no offside. And that's it. That is it. The Americans have taken home the 17th annual Pup Cup. That is a massively disappointing result for England. There's going to be some very sad puppies going home today.